Remote Console, my IBM Lotus Notes Domino Remote Command Console application, really consists of two separate apps all rolled into one. The first app, if you will, is the admin client, which consists of a Lotus Notes client accessible application, which you see on screen now. This allows an administrator to define a server, the address book selection, and define the users who can use that application, the standard readers field. If there's a value in here, the members in this list can view it, and only those members and the administration team via user role. If it's blank, anyone with access to the application can see it. Once you define a server, you define command documents. Now those command documents, we have a few listed here as an example, can consist of a simple description, categorization, which acts more for just visual recognition within the admin client, doesn't really perform any client-side functionality. The actual console command that you're going to issue and just like with the server document, you can lock down the readers to who has access at the user client to this individual command. This gives you some pretty extendable functionality. Now, once you've set this up, you can actually go into your client. I have here Remote Console pulled up on my BlackBerry 9700 running the OS 5 browser. I'll select my server. I get a complete list of my commands that match the commands listed. I can scroll up and I'll issue a DB cache flush with my des description, a flush cache. I'm, I'm asked to confirm if I want to submit the actual command to the server. I'll scroll over and I'll say yes. And it performs the request. Very basic stuff. And it's actually performing a DB cache flush on the server. Now this particular command doesn't actually have response text, but I have one that does listed here. We go back to Domino 1, scroll down to the bottom, I want to show server tasks. I want to scroll back up, say yes, and it will respond with all active server tasks for the selected Domino server. Pretty slick application and available right now for five dollars. You can check the video notes posted to this demo for where you can get your own copy of Remote Console and start deploying this to your users. Now your users may consist of other admins on your team, help desk and other IT staff that may need to issue Remote Console commands that you don't want to necessarily give them the admin client nor access to do it. This runs completely signed by the admin, so just make sure that the signer of this application has the ability to run remote console commands, and you're good to go. Every transaction is actually recorded as a log entry, so you can see who performed what on the server, and that's it.